Well, hello folks. Thanks for joining me again. We are going to start a series where we're going to go through the different pieces that you need to install for siding. So the first piece we're going to start with is a corner. A corner is pretty simple. It goes on the corner of a house. It has a built-in J-channel where the siding will tuck back in and you won't see the cuts. So the way you install a corner is you're going to put it obviously on the corner but when you do that you want to make sure you don't smash it because if you smash it it'll kind of bow out like this and your corner won't be a square corner. We want to try to keep that square 90 degree corner when we install this. So usually these come in a, uh, a 10 or a 12 foot length and uh, you can install one for a single story and you'll need two for a second story. And there's ways you can notch this up a little bit and then cut out the back to have it slide over a bottom corner so you have a seamless um, corner there not necessarily seamless but you're you're kind of fighting that seam a little bit and you're protecting to where they don't have just a, a gap here well, we're going to go ahead and then we're going to install this corner and we're going to make sure that we are square on both sides all right, folks, so when you install this siding corner, you want to make sure you're looking at both sides because this could rotate a little bit. And if it rotates one way or the other, it's not going to be square. So you want to keep an eye on both sides, kind of checking it out. And we want to make sure it's square here. We don't want to tip this way or flatten that way. We want to make sure we're square here have it to where it looks square I'm just gonna nail it off and I like to square one side and nail it quite a bit of ways up and then I go to the other side so I can watch here and make sure it's squared that way as well there we go now we have our corner installed one thing I forgot to mention is put your corner below the level where you're gonna start your siding so I like to have if this is my foundation line I hang my starter strip which we'll talk about that in a second I hang my starter strip a half inch below that line that foundation line then I have my corner that I put on an inch to an inch and a half. An inch to an inch and a half below the foundation line. That way the corner is the farthest thing and then you have the starter and your siding will fit right in there. So here folks we have that corner and I wanted to show you where we have the line of the plywood house and the foundation, the concrete, and we bring that corner below. So in another video, we'll show you how to put that starter on and it will go below the concrete too, but not farther than the corner. Thanks so much for watching folks. Make sure to work hard because hard work is its own reward and try to do something today that will make yourself better than you were yesterday. Thanks for watching.